Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about that pesky no opener that you add to links. We're going to talk about why we add it to links and why we're just not blindly copying and pasting code. This video was inspired by a discussion that we had with a few other developers who didn't really understand why we use it and just assumed that we just put it on all our links when we open new tabs. So in this video, I'm going to show you a, an example of what happens if you don't use it, and what can be done if you don't include it on those links. So here we are in some simple code. Now this code is just a simple form. And inside of this form, I've done some, some basically uh, formatting. And we have uh, a target here for a privacy policy, and then just the regular uh, form. And when we go to our regular page and we take a look at this and say, uh, what does it look like? You can see it just looks like a regular form. Now up here we have this privacy policy link, but imagine this was just a, uh, a link on your website to another site, or potentially this could be the privacy policy. Now when I click this, it says privacy policy. Security is really important to us. And then when I click back, you can see that this film, this form has changed slightly and it says, please fill in this form so I can steal everything. And the only reason I've done that is to highlight the fact that this sort of exists and I've managed to manipulate this page. And this is all done because I've opened this new tab and have not specified the no opener rule. So when we go back to the code, you can see I have this malicious HTML here. Now, when you open it up, it looks fairly uh, simple. It's just an HTML, and then it has this part right here. So what I've done is I've said, if the window.opener, which will have all of the data available when you use the open tab, and said, please select this query of the body, and set the inner HTML to whatever I want. So you can imagine if you did this on Facebook, right? They do use no openers, but in the example, if Facebook was to make this change and they didn't have no openers, somebody could manipulate one of their pages, grab the information, and then display their own version when someone clicks back to that old tab. They could then steal their credentials and then put them on the dark web or potentially use them to try and log into their banks or whatever they wanted it to. So what happens here is the window.opener uh, provides a bunch of different information. Where did they uh, come from? Uh, what was the tab before? And you can literally use this to query the document of the window that was just opened. So instead of uh, having to deploy this, say, in the same area like you stole somebody's html this will actually work even across cores so cores does not protect you from this cores will let somebody do that and the only real difference is is there's a uh, window.opener and then there's window.opener.location now this location here is available if it's in the same domain set and if it's not, you can just instantly do this. So you could actually manipulate with this, the location, the actual URL that somebody is using. So this is why we actually use no opener. So no opener actually sets this window.opener to null and therefore doesn't allow you to manipulate any of this. But you could imagine how disastrous this could be if somebody was to simply make a new form and that new form looked exactly like your registration form and took your user's data and put it somewhere else. It would be absolutely disastrous for your web application, for your website, for your blog, for whatever. So it's important to use the no opener so that it can stop the availability of the document, the location and stop malicious users from disabling that. Now, if we do go back to this and we 
put in on our index HTML here, and we have this dot the uh, target is underscore equals blank, and then we do the rel equals no opener, and hit save here, and we'll just save here too. And then go back to this page and say, hey, what's happening here? So here we have this form that says back to this, create an account and hit the privacy policy again. You can see that it actually manipulated it onto this page. And if we go back here, it's still the same old page. So we're actually safe. We don't have to worry about them stealing our information or sending our users to the wrong place. So next time that you type in no opener, remember you're protecting your users. Well, that's it for today's video. It's pretty short, but I thought it was important that we talked about no openers. Until next week, see ya.